Jack Spade back here with you, High Noon Leatherworks, for another leather adventure. And today, we're going to continue the next step of the Dragon Scale Knife Sheath Project. And today, I've marked my holes, and I did that with my uh, stitching punch. And all I did was mark them. I didn't try to drive through because I've got that spacer on there. And then I'm going to drill each one of those so that we have a nice clean hole. Then we'll move on to the back and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So come on in and let's get started. Alright, so I do have my holes already marked. And I used my stitching punch. To make those marks on there so that they'll all be spaced apart exactly the same and I don't know if you could see them in that or not yeah you can see them right there across my stitching line so I've made those um, and that tells me precisely where to drill and uh, all my stitching holes will be exactly the same amount apart, same distance apart. And uh, I'll have nice clean holes. So let's go ahead and get started on that. there's the starter holes or the first holes on the front side and there they are on the back I'm trying to get this to focus so you can see them right here and then uh, the thing I, I like about using this little tabletop drill press is I get a nice straight hole uh, up and down but if you once you put those little marks in there with your stitching uh, punch if you bring this down real slow it will track right into that little hole that you put in there that little divot you put in there with that stitching punch and it'll pop that drill bit will pop right on there and that way you don't miss a hole you don't get one off um, so it's you kinda have to take it a little slow to make sure that that gets in there every time like that you'll see that drill bit just pop right in that hole right in that divot so let's continue
right, so that's all the holes drilled through this side and the spacer. Now, I'll come back in just a second, reposition the camera, and I'll show you what my next step's going to be. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the front piece that I already drilled all my holes in that you just saw, match it up with the back piece, and I want to make sure that I get it perfectly aligned so that it matches up all the way around perfect and then you could take uh, a needle or uh, just something some skinny pointed object I'm gonna take a little finishing nail and I'm gonna go through my first hole keeping that aligned and held down with my hand and I'm just gonna tap that finishing nail through that drilled hole that finishing nail is a little bit bigger than that hole but I'll tap that through until I get down and actually punch through the bottom now I do have this backside um, I have grooves, stitching grooves in it also to match the front. So all I need is a starting point. So I can take that piece of leather off of that nail, flip it over, and now I've got my starting point to do my marking with my stitching punch and then I can go back and drill this one so I'll put that first punch tooth right on that mark that just came through the other side and I'm not trying to go through all the way I'm just trying to mark it so I'll know where to drill you could go ahead and punch it but I like to have my holes when I'm doing a spacer, I like to have them nice and clean because you're pulling that needle through uh, three different thicknesses of leather at that point. So it's nicer if because I'm hand stitching this. So, And I'll just go through and mark all those to where they're even all the way around. And then I'll go back to the drill press and I'll drill all those out to match the front. Then we'll be ready to put those two pieces together and do some stitching. So that concludes today's video on uh, how to mark your knife sheath out with the spacer, how to drill those holes out for stitching, and then how to transfer that exact pattern back to your back piece and then mark it so that you make sure when you put these together and you stick that needle through a hole, they're going to line up and once you get that stitched, you're going to have a beautiful edge on that piece. So I appreciate you coming and watching. Please come back again, check out the next video, and as I always say, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.